I'm Tommy Lube, I'm Chief Exec of Crossword Cybersecurity. Two milestone moments about my life that have contributed to where I am today. I think probably the first and most important came quite late on. My elder brother, Jim, died of cancer five years ago, and it was very sudden. Um, he had pancreatic cancer, and within uh, five months he was gone. And that threw me completely and really sort of set me back. But also what it did is it made me step back and think about why I do what I do. Um, I can make money, I know how to do that, I get involved in things, but what am I actually trying to do here? And I think it was from that point that I decided, given that I had to push on, I had to do something that was really going to make a difference both to me and to people around me. And that was the point that I decided that I was going to set up the secondary school in Africa for girls to study science and technology. And it was a huge amount of effort, huge amount of money, but that's what we achieved. I suppose the second point was actually going to the opening of that school this August uh, with girls from... Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Cameroon, Ethiopia, Uganda, studying maths, physics, computing from all over. We're paying their fees and everything and sort of standing there welcoming them. And that sort of made me think, actually, I'm doing something OK here. A magazine like this is incredibly important to, to have in today's world. The Power List gives people from an African and afro caribbean background, a platform to tell our stories. And there's a, uh, an African proverb that says, until lions have their own storytellers, tales of the hunt will always glorify the hunter. If you don't tell your stories, somebody else will tell them for you. To tell your stories, you need a platform. And this is our platform to be able to tell those stories. The key tip that I can share that's worked in my life is getting very comfortable with failure. I am very good at failing. I do it often and I do it quickly and then I bounce back. So when I pitch for money, I will pitch to 100 people and 99 will say no, they don't want to invest and one will say yes and I will just keep going and listen to all the no's and bounce back. I, um, the first time I asked my wife to marry me, she said no. I was very surprised, actually. <laughs> uh, so a year later, I asked her again, and she said yes. So it works. 